In today's video, we're going to be talking about six spiritual ways that you can use a bell. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure that you subscribe, that way you'll never miss out on another video. Today, I'm actually holding the bell so it doesn't make too much noise. Um, this is mine right here and you can actually get this on Amazon. I'll link it down below if you're interested. I love this bell. Um, but we're going to be talking about a few ways that you can use bells spiritually. Six specific ways that I do myself. And if you're interested, then keep on watching. First way you could use a bell is to bring it all around your house, to reset the energy and to get rid of any negative energy. So this is why it's really beneficial to keep a bell because there are so many ways you could use it. And it just it's really good for resetting the energy and just calling in good energy and letting go of the bad. So it's so beneficial to keep a bell, especially just ring it all around your house. You could do it every morning, every night, or just when you feel the need to do it. Which comes to the second thing I want to talk about. You can actually ring your bell around your body to get rid of any thing you're feeling, any low vibrations, low emotions, low anything. You want to get rid of it, reset your energy, ring the bell around your body and then see how you feel afterwards. For me, it's so therapeutic. It's so calming. And especially in those times where you're very anxious, for me especially, um, I like to ring the bell and it just helps me tune back into my body. Just very grounding and just helps you bring just bring all your five senses back here. Whereas before, like anxiety makes all your five senses just everywhere, right? Just chaos. So the bell just really helps ground you. So if you ever feel like you need a little bit more grounding spiritually, ring a bell around your entire body. The third way that you could use a bell is to ring it around your altar. Anytime that you sit on your altar or you offer anything, ring it around your altar to call forth your spirits, whoever that you're offering to, whoever you're calling out to, even if that be your higher self. You want to ring the bell just to tune in, ground yourself, tap into that energy. It's very, very magical. The fourth way that you could use a bell, and this is something I really love to do, is when you are giving an offering to a deity, a spirit guide, your higher self, whoever you're giving an offering to ancestors, you want to ring the bell so that the negative energies leave and you call in whatever energy that you are giving that offering to. The fifth way that you could use a bell is after you're done cooking, you can ring the bell around your food to just cleanse the food and bless it. You can chant a very good affirmation over it like, you know, uh, may my family be blessed and wealthy and happy always, health, good fortune or whatever you want to bless your food with. You ring the bell around it and then you speak over it. Now, the fifth and last way I wanted to share with you is to ring the bell always in front of your front door, your back door, around your windows, you know, to get rid of anything that doesn't belong there and chase away anything that doesn't belong and then just to invite good energy to reset all the energy around your windows because sometimes people come in and out of the house, plumbers, I don't know, you know, real estate, I don't know, whatever, family, friends. Um, so you do want to cleanse your the entrance of your home, the back door, the windows. So ring a bell around all of those. Make sure that it's a little bit open so everything that needs to leave can leave. So those are six ways I wanted to share with you how to use a bell spiritually. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye.